Hello and welcome back to the county of Portsleydale. My name is Badger and on today's show we are going to be putting in an interchange here. Now not any old interchange, I've been requested this one from a Richard Johnson and he says can I take a look at the Didmore interchange in near Liverpool on the M58 and he's asking if I could somehow make this junction safer so I'm going to throw up a screenshot of it right now and yeah, let's have a look so we've got this fairly awful interchange at the top here where traffic's coming on before traffic's coming off so that's going to cause problems with people trying to get on and off there at the top uh, let's have a look so the, if you're getting off the M50 coming on this A road, you're having to come down to the roundabout and back up to do, you have to do like a whole loop of the circuit I see, and then yeah, if you're getting off the uh, the bottom of the motorway here, you just go off and around and up, that's quite okay there, and if you're wanting to change you'd have to do a full loop as well, but I think the main safety issue is the on and off of the top motorway junction there everything else seems fairly okay so I think we should put in a kind of vanilla um, diamond interchange because you can see over here the problem is in the game on the vanilla one it's you can see all the traffic is basically coming on before anything can come off and that causes massive like health and safety issues and everything like that so what you'd really want is all your traffic coming off and then on this side and then coming on on this side but that's kind of hard to achieve without major infrastructure projects so which is what I'm going to recommend doing a vanilla diamond interchange and what you see is what will make the traffic do is we'll make the traffic cross to the other side and then cross back basically when it's all nice and safe so they go along the road they cross over the, junk, the traffic that wants to get off gets off and goes on and then after that it splits back to the other side and everything carries on as normal so let's do this let's buy the square I think we we're originally gonna buy the square anyway and this will also provide us with a back door entrance into uh, the wood district here which we still need a name for currently and yeah we're going to put it here so the forestry district can get involved as well and they can be exporting wood along this as well and yeah so we are going to completely destroy this area and also we could bring it into the um, university section here as well so without further ado if you're going to do major renovation in this game remember that we can't touch the train line because we don't have access to them so we're gonna have to be very gentle with this and this is the first time I'm doing this so forgive me if it's a little wrong Okay, so let's see, we've got the, the the junction that comes down here, basically it stops right after the motorway. And yeah, we've got like two, yeah, okay, so we've got that, there, I think what we're going to do, okay, let's make it the right way first of all. Putting in this for uh, vanilla diamond interchange, and now the bottom of it here tips round. It's like a semicircle roundabout-ish type thing, like a teardrop. And we're going to come round. I'm just trying to copy the pictures on, on the map as best as possible. Oh no, I'm 
eso pero voy a calmar Very hard to do free balling like this. Okay, we will come back to that. So our interchange, we're going to use this. We're going to try and cover it up by putting it under the bridge, where all cover-ups happen are under bridges. So traffic will come down here, go around here. And then it's going to go, ah, oh, no, you got to flick over. So this is no longer like that. That's change. And then this all has to change like that. Okay. So. Da -da 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 -da. Got a teardrop round here. And now. Let's beautifully connect the right side of this, so it's about there. That's going to diverge off. Uh, it's going to come round. Like there, no, oh, yeah, actually. Kind of want them to, I'm trying to the council would need to reshape that, wouldn't they? Just a little bit, hold on. So around, down, and yeah, something like that. Perfect. Actually, we, we, have, we haven't put the motorway br bridge back in yet, hold on. Hold on, getting ahead of ourselves. And yes, motorways. It's at a three, so we're going to go down to a two junction. Got a bit of bridge across here. But we want to, yeah, actually, mm. is that going to cover up our. Oh, it is. It is going to cover up majority of it good good so we can hide away the little details so there we go that's the bridge over done and so now we can bring in the side road. Side road, the, the on junction. Yeah, let's try and make this. I'm really not happy with this teardrop bit. We need to really reshape that somehow. We'll work on it, we'll come back to it. So there we go, it splits off and comes round we're getting nice and smooth okay. and obviously they wouldn't come back that way because that would be a very harsh turn so we're going to do that and just so we get the level right nice and even do the same on this side and try and just do this by eye oh no no that, that looks a bit smaller and in curve round I'm really not following the diagram at this point am I 
No. Oh. Okay, let's see if we can work from the opposite angle, because we know where that's got to stop. So, should we bring the guys off here? Go a little bit higher. Anticipated. And then down like that. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going I'm to stick with that, because that looks fairly even now. So they would be joined up like that, roughly, but not anymore. Don't damage. Oh, damn it. Damaged it. Oh, I had to touch it, didn't I? That's a death trap. Right, so that would come around. Basically that, and then fling off. Cool. And now we need to get these reversed so that all the traffic can come back on nice and safely. And there we go. And we're going to flick that back over to the regular side. And there we go. Wonderfulness. Okay, now we just need to draw in the on-ramps. No, 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 wait, 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 no. We need to figure out and make this better. Okay, let's go. Where's the road guide when you need it? Why why can't it, why can't you do tricky angles like this with the road guide? With all the angle things. I think we got it. I think I think that's the best we're gonna be. Yes! There we go. That would do. We have successfully made that interchange. Now there's also a little on and off ramp here here as well. Ah, I see. Okay, so, just to stay true to this junction, we'll make that come in like that, and we're going to make that come off like that. Perfect. Then we're going to do a bit of lane management. sure they're going the right way to start with. That should be three. And yeah, let's turn these down into motorway junctions. So yeah, they're coming off, they're coming around here, and then they are entering this section. Then these guys they're coming off they're going around this section and jumping on here into this lane and then with the present traffic mod what we want to do is just make sure that these guys have their own section to jump on and there you go that'll make it nice and safer to do that's already done automatically and let's just do the same on the other side so that goes down to ding do, 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 come over two 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 into three wonderful we turn that into a one turn that into a one jumping on there There we go. 
I think is hidden underneath there and they're gonna get a shock of their lifetime going ah what just happened and we want people to use this so do we upgrade the road I think we should upgrade the road I'm gonna upgrade it to a dual carriageway now that we've done all our creative designing and there we go I really want to believe this will work I really do There's only one way to really find out. So let's connect this up into our city. So we've got our back door entrance going in now. Two main line road. Here we go. This is what we need. Let's bring the back door in. Let's have it swoop out a little bit. Give it a little bit of charm and character. Go, and then we're going to have our off ramp there and bring our just on the tip here we're going to bring it in and have our on ramp like that wonderful uh, we're going to use the president mod here as well we're going to say hey if you guys you guys have to come off this one otherwise straight on the same here, that's what we're going to do to improve the traffic flow. Uh, hmm. This one's debatable. We'll leave that one for now. So that should just straight away, just clear the flow straight out. Okay, so we've done that. And. Oh, we wanted a back way into. This. I don't think we should touch that. I like the shape of that now. So let's build a small roundabout here and then we will test it. Oh, and then we've got to plug it into the back of the university as well. Yeah, well, that, that's a bit boring. That's very boring. Let's bring it. Let's let's do something interesting. Hold on. Let's just do something interesting. So let's bring that around. So that comes like that. But then this splits off. Comes around like that. Might have to push the road here back, but that's okay. Come down. redo that ah oh, damn it one last try nice and off here we're gonna have that come around here Okay, we're gonna do that. Have those two basically converge on this and bring this in as a back route into the there we go. Into the into the forestry area. And now let's I think we can get away with that for a little bit more. And that, like that. A little bit of move it mod magic going on. Oh, 
that's good. That's good. So we're just gonna flick that the other way around. Okay, so we have put that in. It's gonna be a train. Oh, actually, I think we might move the train station over. So what we're going to do? Move this up. We're gonna have. This might be a huge mistake, but we're gonna have Campus Road naturally turn in to these. Is there enough room there? Yeah, there's enough room. So it's a nice square bit. It's gonna come back a bit. This is gonna be curved come out here and that's going to swing into that actually no yeah just bring it back a little bit so we've got more room to play with let's do it with the, with the top one here sorry my bad my bad people so there we go we come back a bit curve tool bring that up and this will just be a, a change in the speed limit not really sure how to bring this one in actually let's go for it, that's, no, that's way too close to bring something, let's go at 45 degrees here and have them spread off Gonna bring that in like that. And that should be perfect. Right, pre flight checks, everyone. There we go, there's one found. Okay, so they can come on. Oh, they can't get on. That's the. Oh, there is a there is an on ramp over here that goes behind oh right, let's just see so, so if you came down here and you wanted to turn right you would have to go down shift over shift over around shift over and off that's that's gonna be a nightmare and yeah I think all that is gonna work so let's I'll tell you what, let's just try it in its raw form. Traffic can come down here, traffic can come down here. Good, 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 good. Let's try it in the raw form and see how it goes. Oh. Oh, CPU was thinking there for a second. Okay, so lots of people using this. Let's zoom out a little bit. So the CPU there just stop for a second and just think about where it's sending traffic now. And as you can see it's running very nice and smoothly. If we come over to this direction, let's have a look. Okay, you can see them all going off, coming out of here, off into the town, and off into the, the industries area. Let's 
So yeah, there we go. I think, I think, Richard Johnson, I have solved your little problem. Of your little interchange. Hold on, let's get the angle right. There we go. Yeah, I think I have solved your problem with this interchange. We just got to make it do a little doohickey under the bridge here and a doohickey at the top here. And also, we we'll, we will bring down like, you know, join your join her off. Oh, yeah, we could just add a road here and add a road there, and that would be perfect. But you know, if you haven't got much budget or you needed to spend the budget on a critical element, I would say these two doohickeys up here and flicking the roads over, and everything should be fine and dandy. Okay, so. I am going to leave that one there. I'm really actually liking the look of this junction. And, you know, it's nice to solve a problem. So, let's just have a look at our other junction, if it's getting less traffic. And I think it is. Because if you look, there's, there's like three or four cars coming down there already. And also, I want to kind of move this production hub over here, so it's good to have like another juncture for it and there's a bit of a water crisis going on at the moment because of the flood thing not because of us which is wonderful and yeah I feel I'm gonna leave that one for today guys have a great day and I will see you on the next one bye Sorry to pull you back again, but I did uh, have a look and there was something wrong with our little crossover junctions. They weren't really working right. If uh, So before you comment, let me know uh, that you've seen this because this is how it should technically be. There should be a set of traffic lights there really in safety, but we're going to keep it as an honesty system for now. And as you can see, the traffic is crossing over and then going down and crossing back again or going off and back onto the motorway so it's much much safer mr richard johnson than your current design and there we go in all its glory we have made it much better and safer for all apart from these need traffic lights but apart from that much safer for everyone involved until next week have a good day Bye! For real this time. Bye! I hope you enjoyed that and remember to like, subscribe and maybe even hit that bell notification button so you don't miss out on the next episode. Oh, we've still got some seconds. Why not give me some feedback in the comments below? It would be greatly appreciated. And bonus, you can find me on your favourite social media platform. Links are in the description below. Until next time, have a lovely day.